What are you doing here, Tom? I think I found a way home. It's a job for some very, very powerful people. People who I believe can fix my charges permanently. But I need your help. You're here to corrupt one of my brightest and best. You know what I'm offering? You have to let them decide for themselves. Money. Not just money. You remember. It's the chance to build cathedrals, entire cities, things that never existed, things that couldn't exist in the real world. I need an architect who's as good as I was. I've got somebody better. Whether you love them or hate them, dreams are something you experience on your own, all by yourself. But what if people could invade your dreams? What if they could go in there to steal your ideas, to steal your thoughts? What if they could go into your dreams to plant ideas into your subconscious? Ideas that would then run your life. Look, if you want my help, you're going to have to be completely open with me. I need to know my way around your thoughts better than your wife, better than your therapist, better than anyone. If this is a dream and you have a safe full of secrets, I need to know what's in that safe. In order for this all to work, you need to completely let me in. Enjoy your evening, gentlemen. As I consider your proposal. This kind of terrifying, disturbing premise is the idea behind Christopher Nolan's new film, Inception. It's a science fiction thriller. It's written and directed by Nolan, who is best known for the last two Batman films, but who also did the wonderful Memento. This is the kind of smart, brainy, interesting summer entertainment that people are always looking for and rarely find. It stars Leonardo DiCaprio and Ellen Page. Think about it, Ariadne. How did you get here? Where are you right now? We're dreaming. You're actually in the middle of the workshop right now, sleeping. This is your first lesson in shared dreaming. Stay calm. <laughs> It's a little tricky, it's a little hard to follow, but on the other hand, you always know where it's going and you're always in awe of the wonderful set pieces that Christopher Nolan and his team produce. For the Los Angeles Times, this is Kenneth Turan.